Good morning. Good morning everyone. It's day three and that's the 18th of January 2012. Could this be a watershed? It's oh six ten hours waiting for the first bus. Um if in doubt, stop Sopa, stop Pippa. But there was already something gone through that could have a big effect, especially if you've got dot coms or dot nets, which I have. Anyway, slowly running out of audio podcasts of CES, but the Tech, pod tech Podcast Network started to upload the ears. So I can see me with <laughs> my little eye river, or maybe netbook hitting the town tomorrow. Mm, what a difference a day makes. Minus five yesterday, um, when I woke up this morning it was plus five, and it's drizzling. And there's no wind. Ah, there's something about this. There really is. Anyway, greetings to people in Bodrum, and bars where there are no staff. And it's drizzling in Cardiff, making slightly more than in Beggars, but not as much as Cathedral. Right, emergency coffee, and test some stuff that's payment on. Making the most of this. So, that's the flux. And I popped into the subway. And it's really stopped whistling. And I'm feeling good. So, what could really go wrong? Oh, I'm one, two, three, four, five, coming threes. No bad things. I'm making it four. He is the one for it. So, this is number one, and a bit of a turn up for the box. I know the one in the Sir Samuel said it was the bottom of the barrel and did I want it anyway. But yesterday in the Bevan, it wasn't as clear as that. So, let's just say the Willows superior Salomon ship, or in this case, ladyship. Although I can't get the um, cask mask QR code to work. I think it's a problem at the far end, but who knows? Anyway, White Squall, Newbie Wick, Brewery 4.8, third time this week, and. Oh, far stronger and more pungent shoe. Which leads me to think. No, that would just be wrong. But let's just say, still a B plus that the um, Willows is the way for me, Jilly Golden. Not even a natural blonde. So this is number two, Golden Arrow by Cottage Brewing, 4.5 percent alcohol by volume. A golden ale, a nice cream head. And so far today, I've used the Starbucks app to pay for my. It was actually a cappuccino, should have been a latte, and had free whipped cream. And then in Subway Points, that was all online. Weather Spoons need an app. I know they've got an app at the moment, but a loyalty app. Anyway, cottage brewing usually rather good. And uh, I think it's still drizzling on so. Creamy, lemony, slightly bitter aftertaste. That's B plus. Actually, it's one of the beers you drink and it sort of you can still taste it. Although I can still taste the barbecue sauce from Subway, that's rather nice. There you go. So this is number three. <laughs> Another pint of Vito Ale. Hello, um, I can't think of his name. Herman Von Rumpel. This Bateman's, uh, what's it, 4.3% alcohol by volume. Let us check while I have an emergency picture of it. Here we go. Yes, 4.3 gets it in one. Oh, whatever. Anyway, um, this is taking a bit of a battering on the uh, Wellspoons Facebook board for being decidedly ordinary. So, 
<laughs> it is. It could do with. It could do with more hops. Or it could do with more malt. I mean, it looks nice, uh, but it's. I think it's a session ale, but not a particularly good one. It's okay, don't get me wrong, it's not like, oh, I wouldn't drink that, but you wouldn't say, oh, you have to drink that. Now, if they were doing a bog off, different matter. Okay, this is number four, the Bellin Royal, not Freedom Fowl, Double Dragon, 4.2% alcohol by volume. You know what I miss? I miss the Daily Source Code. Happy Saturdays in here with a couple of episodes off. Anyway. That's the last one. Creamy. Very creamy. Um, too creamy for me, really. I think it'd be. And this is the second pub of the day. I wouldn't say the world famous City Arms, but... The City Arms are all the same. Cast mask. I wonder if I can get a check in here. And 35 minutes to go. This is then oh I'm in the city end, by the way. This is the Beefman's Creek of the Talisman Peroni glass. And it's sweetened for the UK market. I might prefer it to be the original sour and acidic. Oh, I have to go back to Shares Mulder Lambic and drink Cantalon. If you go anywhere, oh gosh, they've got double at the bar. This could be the way forward. Count down 27 minutes. It is a pop, but it's 4.2% alcohol by volume. I give it a B. Plus. Because this surely should be an A minus. They've sweetened it. Such is life. Wow. This will probably get me a DMCA takedown. Because I don't have a license for the background music. Anyway, I'm all the way to Cardiff. Like a copper jug and an Otley Ale. There's Otley Zero Garden. Which is 4.8% alcohol by volume, rather lemony, very lemony, and the way forward. And the water, the water falls to the correct side of the watershed. Thank you.